Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Justin from Made Geek Gaming. Um, I'm actually going to do a tutorial for you in Audacity where I'm going to show you how to bass boost the songs. A lot of people were having some issues with my tutorial last time, so I went ahead and decided to remake it to kind of give you a more in-depth and more clear, you know, visual tutorial of actually how to bass boost this music. So I've selected a song by Straz Dime Beats. These guys are great content creators from Canada. They're a, a company that I partner with, and you'll see a lot of their music on my channel now. I'll be doing some intros with their music and doing a lot of cool stuff. Thank you, Strazdine. This song is by you. It's a remix. Um, it's called Stay Right There. And we're going to bass boost this song, guys, and I'm going to show you how to do it and be more clear about it now. So what I need you to do is go ahead and open your Audacity, click the file, open, find the song that you're wanting to use. So once you have your song in here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click the gray area here on the left side underneath the mute and solo button underneath the gain and the, the center left and right mixers so go ahead and click there control C on your keyboard and then right click or click not left click clicked okay click left click the gray the gray area underneath that song and control V you should now have two copies of this song so they're exactly the same. I'm not going to play them because that would be a nightmare for everyone's ears. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click the top song so you've highlighted the whole thing. Then you're going to go up here to tracks. You're going to render the stereo track to a mono track which will help you in bass boosting later on. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and click solo and play the song. Strassdingbeats.com yep, yep, yep. Okay, now that the song plays, make sure it sounds good and make sure it doesn't sound all cracked and nasty sounding. Now that the song sounds great, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click, double click the song, go to effects, and if you have to, it'll be at the very bottom, it'll be under crossfade tracks depending on the size of your screen. And go ahead and click the down arrow and hold it. Left click and hold and then click low pass filter. Make sure the roll off here dB per octave is set to 48. Once it's set to 48, then you're going to move on to the bottom. On the left side of the slider bar, where you see cutoff frequency, highlight the number in that box. Make sure you highlight the whole thing and then type 85.0. You could play with these numbers. I would go no higher than 95 and no lower than 65 because you want to get that right bass. You want to get the nice sounding, crisp, clean bass, and you're going to go ahead and press enter. Now it's going to render that and apply the low pass filter, which will bring the bass out of the song. So let's go ahead and hear it. Sounds great. Let's amp it up a little bit. So what you want to do to make it louder or make it lower is you want to play with the gain. It's on the left side of the you know of, of the, your music track. And I would go no higher than five because I mean if I went as high as sixteen, but that's on songs with absolutely no bass. I'm gonna go to about three and see how it sounds. Much better. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're gonna unclick the solo button and move on to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and click solo so I know which track I'm highlighting. And we're going to highlight the whole track. We don't need to render this one to a mono because we need to keep the stereo sound here to make sure the sound sounds the song still sounds great. Guys, I'm getting tongue tied today. All right. And we're going to go ahead and apply high pass filter to this. This will bring out the treble and make it sound clear. So, make sure your dB roll off is set to 48 once again and go no higher than 100 on this, guys. I've went as low as 95. I I wouldn't go any higher than 100. You want to get that right amount of treble with the stereo track. Press enter. You're going to need to apply this three times to make sure you get all of the bass out of it. So go ahead and press control R. Now it'll apply it again. Once it's applied it again, you're going to be able to see the difference in, in the waveform here. Apply it once more. Now we're going to really see the difference. It's going to take it all out and it's going to look really nice. So let's go ahead and play it. I hear very little bass in that, which is great. What we need to do is we're going to need to bring the gain down on the bottom track to about four, maybe actually I'll go about three, make it just sound just good. So now let's go ahead and play them both together. 
make sure you unclick the solo button or you won't hear the song. Sounds good to me. So what you guys are going to need to remember, there's there's three things to always remember. Always, when you're editing your music, push the stop button. Otherwise, sometimes these tools will be grayed out. Number two, make sure that your volume, your playback volume is not too high because you're going to start, if it actually make it, make it as loud as you want, but make sure it's not too high or sometimes you'll hear a little bit of distortion. Also, you need to remember that the bottom track should always sound lower than the top track because if you want that bass boost, people want to hear that bass, but they don't want to hear too much bass and have the treble underneath it as well. You'll notice that in some of my bass boosts, my bass is a little over. It's because I did not do that. But if you ever get distortion, lower the gain. If you don't lower the gain, you're still going to keep that distortion and it's going to sound like crap. Obviously, I just repeated myself. But... One other thing that you need to remember, when you're making the bass boost, always, always, always apply a low pass filter. Don't ever go in there, push effect, bass and treble, and amp the bass as loud as you can get it. You can make the bass louder that way, but if you do that, you're, it's going to sound like crap. And some tracks may sound good that way. But if you really want that effect, use the low pass filter. All right, guys, Justin from May Geek bringing you a bass boost tutorial. Make sure you check out our other videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. See you guys later.